Ashley is here to show you how to break down, clean, and reassemble your AR-15 rifle. Begin by removing your magazine and placing it to the side. Pull the bolt carrier assembly back using the charging handle. While pulled back, catch it with the bolt hold open lever on the side. Thoroughly inspect your chamber both visually and physically, making sure it is empty of any round. Push the charging handle back in place. Drop the bolt carrier forward, and then the hammer. Push down the rear takedown pin. Using a nail punch can help. And pull from the opposite side. This will shotgun your rifle. Do the same on the front pivot pin, pushing down and pulling from behind. This will separate the upper and lower half. Grab the charging handle and the bolt carrier assembly and slightly pull back. Remove the bolt carrier assembly and then the charging handle. Now it's time to break down the bolt carrier. Pull the firing pin retainer from the middle of the bolt carrier. Release the firing pin and give it a quick tap against your palm. Remove the bolt cam pin by rotating 90 degrees and pulling out. Lastly, remove the bolt from the bolt carrier. On the center of your bolt, pop the pivot pin and remove the extractor. Place gun solvent into a small container and add the small pieces from the bolt and bolt carrier. This will help break down any carbon buildup. Using a Q-tip, clean the inside of the gas key on the bolt carrier. Remove the buffer tube and buffer spring by pushing down on the catch and pulling them out. Once removed, clean these two pieces by simply wiping down with a rag. Use a chamber brush on a T-rod to clean the chamber and barrel lugs. Once done, replace with a smaller wire brush. We used a 22 caliber wire brush. Dip into a little bit of solvent and run down the bore. Remove the brush before pulling out from the bore. Always clean from breech to muzzle. Next, add a slotted tip to your T-rod and add a clean patch. Run down through the receiver and chamber and into the bore. Remove the patch and continue with new patches until clean. Drop some solvent onto a bore mop or clean patch and repeat the process. Now that some time has passed, use a wire brush to knock off any remaining deposits on smaller bolt pieces you left in solvent. Make sure to wipe down all these pieces with a rag. Add the extractor back onto your bolt, popping the pivot pin back in place. Use a drop of oil on the bolt's gas rings. Some advise to offset your gas rings, but this shouldn't make much difference. Place the bolt back inside the bolt carrier, making sure to align the holes on the side. Add the cam pin and rotate 90 degrees. Drop the firing pin all the way into your bolt so it sits flush. Next, add the retaining pin back in place. Lastly, pull the bolt head all the way forward. Add the buffer tube and buffer spring back into place. Wipe down the charging handle and add a couple drops of oil. Make sure to add a drop of oil to each of these points. Make sure to align the grooves of the charging handle with the upper receiver. Drop the bolt carrier into the groove on the charging handle. Line them up and push in simultaneously. Attach the two halves by locking the pivot and takedown pins back in place. Run charging handle all the way back and then forward, evenly spreading the lubrication. Wipe down your rifle from any extra oil. After running all the necessary inspections and function checks, your firearm will be ready to use. Remember to always resort back to your owner's manual and practice gun.